So let's start with a general one. Who should run? Those who are intrinsically motivated, those who are disciplined, those who, let's be honest, have a bit of natural talent, those who are committed, those who are determined, and those who have a purpose in running, and that's it. Everyone, anyone and everyone, if they want to. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're interviewing three special guests from the running world. Asking them to share their thoughts and insights on how to start running. Host of Running Podcast, Richard on Running, thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Elite athlete, Professional on Slim, thanks for joining us today. Look, glad I could make it. I just came from a session. Content creator and recreational runner, Average Dom Slim, thank you for joining us today. Absolute pleasure. We're going to begin with a curveball. Is walking running? Absolutely not. Well, technically, no. Walking is the gateway to running. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't walk if you want to be a runner. If you walk a little bit, then run a little bit, and then walk a little bit, I think you're already a runner. And that's exactly what you should be doing to build up. But look, I walk sometimes. I do interval sessions, and my recovery between my running sets is walking. So walk running is essentially intervals for beginners. Walk to run. So for new runners, how many days per week should they run? Sorry, do you mean children? Uh, no, may, maybe, probably more adults. Because if they're not already running by the time they're adults, it's really too late. Two days a week. Two days and pin them to specific days so you can start creating a bit of a regime. Let's say Tuesday and Saturday. And you do that every week for a few weeks and see how you go. And then when you're feeling good, you add another day. Yeah, look, at, at any level, doing too much, too quickly, is, is a risk, right? It risks injuries and it risks losing motivation if things become too boring or too tedious or too tiring, too hard, too quickly, you know? See, building slowly is key. The distance that you run or the time that you run, even the intensity at which you run, build slowly. If you're not running at least four times a week, it's a pretty good sign that you're not taking it very seriously. And you should consider spending that time that you do run on your other hobbies, such as crafts or Pilates or learning Korean. How do new runners know what pace they should run? Look, you simply can't run your fastest every single run. I definitely don't. Well, I think a trap that a lot of beginner runners fall into is kind of running max effort every run and it's very tiring. And then you end up dreading it. You've got to run at different paces. Like sometimes you run your maximum speed, right? If it's a race or it's a particular session or you're going for a PB, then you run your maximum pace. But normally, regularly, like easy runs, long runs, you're running much slower. For example, if you take your, your 5K PB pace, if you know it, aside from interval training, in training, you pretty much will never run that fast. When you run your easy runs, when you run your long runs, you're running much slower. Running slow is essentially lazy. You're still technically running, but you're wasting everybody's time. Yours, mine. So I would just say run slower than you think. There's no minimum pace, right? And you can always go for a fast finish if you've got some in the tank. So sometimes running can be boring, especially if you're not passionate about it yet. 
How can new runners keep it interesting? Change it up. Change it up. The terrain, you know? Road, track, trails. Uh, I always preach about this, but variety in where you run, hills, forests, beach, and how you run. You can do shorter, faster runs, like intervals or fart legs, and you can do slower, longer runs. In here, if you don't think running is interesting, change your mind. You choose what is interesting and involve other people. Running is a solo sport if you want it to be, and it also doesn't have to be. And find your squad, bro. So surround yourself with running people, a running friend or running group or the running community. Well, remember what I said about intrinsic motivation? Inherit, inbuilt from within you. Other people are not within you, so don't rely on them for motivation. Again, lazy. Some might find the running community intimidating. How can a new runner break into that community? Park run, definitely. There's nothing better than a 5K weekly timed event at your local park with runners and walkers of all abilities. You meet people, you make friends, if you're looking for a running group, you're probably gonna find someone who's part of a running group there, and you come back next week, you try and give your PB a crack, come back the week after, volunteer. Uh, run a local race, I reckon. You'll meet heaps of like-minded people, like ability people, people that's running at your pace. Trust me, many people there will be running their first ever race just like you. Too many of those running groups all over my socials. Running groups with no real running values. It's all about social running and inclusive running. Oh, we'll do 25 minutes together as a jog on a Friday afternoon and then we'll go for a beer. It really makes one's tummy turn. What's the hardest thing about getting into running? Oh, like finding the right gear and that, you know? I think in this day and age, it's all the noise, navigating all the noise, because there's so many people shouting so many things. Nothing, easy, next. Okay then, what's the most fun part about getting into running? What, why? That doesn't matter, fun. It's finding the right gear and that, you know? The running community, seeing progress, improving mental health. What's something new runners should know? Okay, uh, you need to eat more, but uh, don't be a little piggy about it. Yeah, there's a lot of washing, bro. A lot of washing. Washing every day. It's either washing or choosing your least smelly clothes. Be careful what you eat before runs. Unless you want the runs. What else can runners do to get into the sport? Set goals. Listen to music? Uh, buy some nice running shoes, you know? Reward yourself. Be consistent. Believe in yourself. Try harder. To those trying to start running but doubting themselves, what do you say? Well, everybody has self-doubt, don't they? You just can't let it control you. You control it. It's going to tell you that you can't do something. And you can't pretend that you didn't hear it. So you just say, Thanks for your input, but I'm good. I'm going to do it anyway. Richard, that was actually a really good answer. Yes, but all of my answers have been correct. Uh, yeah, sure. Every person is different, you know? Everybody has different internal makeup, different motivations, different comfort levels, different abilities. If you're new to running, and you're watching this, this movement, you know, this huge wave of people getting into running, and you might feel FOMO if you're not part of it, you know, blowing up. Now, running is such a broad sport that allows so many people to do it and, and, and do it in their own way. So do it, go, go explore it and experiment with it and try to fall in love with it in your own way. But remember this, if you don't, if you try and you try and running is not for you, there's not a single thing wrong with that. Well, um, thank you for that. Yeah, that's alright. Look, don't overthink it. I think we probably spend too much time thinking about running and talking about running and even 
watching content about running when really we should just run. So, are we going to run or what? Let's go. Sorry, we weren't quite finished there, Average. It's the movement. You're the one moving. No, I'm not the movement, I'm just a symptom of it. I'm going to check out. Oh, you're done? Yeah, double run day. Gotta go. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank you, Richard. I think we're done. Okay. Well, I'll get my secretary to shoot you through an invoice, will I? Oh, this wasn't a, a paid gig. Of course it was. Don't joke around. Uh, no, not joking. I expect an email. Um, what just happened? We're not paying for that, are we? Oh, I'm average Tom Slim. I'll see you next week.